let us discuss about basic constructions. What are the basic constructions? See, construction 1. To draw the perpendicular bisector of line segment AB. That means we have to draw the perpendicular bisector of a line segment by using ruler and compasses. Okay? So by using ruler and compasses, we have to construct the perpendicular bisector of a given line segment. See, this is the construction one to draw the perpendicular bisector of a line segment. Now, what is given here? First, you have to write down what is given given data. This is a line segment AB. This is given. See, this is a line segment AB. This is the given data. Now, what you have to prove? We have to prove to prove that means to require to prove the perpendicular bisector of bisector of a line segment. A line segment AB. This is the line segment AB. First we have to construct the line perpendicular bisector of a line segment AB by using roller and compasses. Now what are the steps? Steps of construction. First one. This is a given line segment AB. First given, this is a line segment AB. Now, first step, draw arcs. We have to draw arcs with A as a center and radius more than half of the line segment AB. So, by using compasses, we have to construct if I were using take the radius more than half of the line segment AB and A as a center draw an arc like this above the line segment AB and below the line segment AB. These two are arcs from the point A. Now draw another arcs from point B like this and these arc made set the previous arc and draw another arc below the line segment AB from from point B. That means B as a center draw another two arcs. Okay. Now these two are met at points P and Q. Join B and Q we get a line segment. This is a line. This is a we get a line segment P and Q. Line segment P and Q. This is perpendicular to the line segment AB. This line is PQ. The line PQ is perpendicular to AB. And this line bisects the line segment AB. That means this line divides the line segment in the two equal parts. Suppose this is O. The point is O, bisecting point is O, then AO is equal to OB and angle POB is equal to 90 degrees here. So this is called perpendicular bisector. This is called perpendicular bisector of a line segment AB. This line divides the line segment AB into equal parts and it is perpendicular to the line segment AB. Now, so this is the construction of a line segment. What are the steps here? First, you have to draw arcs from from A as a center. Draw arcs with A as a center and radius more than half of AB, the line segment AB. Then draw an arc above the line segment AB and below the line segment AB. In the same way, the second step is draw an arc with B as a center. B as a center. And radius is more than half of AB. Radius more than half of AB. The length AB. So these are the two arcs from B. Okay. So these are the arcs from point B. And these are arcs from point A. These two are met at points P and Q. Now, join P and Q. Points P and Q. Then, the line P 
pq meet at o so if we join these two points a line pq meets the line segment ab at o okay then pq is the required perpendicular bisector of ab pq is the required perpendicular bisector of ab fourth one pq is the required perpendicular bisector of line segment ab this is the construction of perpendicular bisector of a line segment okay thank you